who believe that drinking ketones, drinking exogenous ketone salts, beta-hydroxybutyrate salts, help them lose weight and it helps them lose body fat. And so they make these bold claims and a lot of times the people that do this tend to be people who sell said BHP salt supplements. And so there's actually a study now looking at does a ketogenic diet with exogenous ketones produce more body fat loss? And I think you're gonna be surprised by what they found in the study. Once again, uh, it is a bunch of researchers. There's at least 15 researchers on here one of them is a name that you'll know very well, Dr. Jeff Folick. He's out of The Ohio State University. Uh, and all of these researchers are at uh, Ohio State. So, um, yeah. But this is one that I'm, I'm just tired that people always think that if keto is good, let's drink sources of beta-hydroxybutyrate directly into the body and that'll make fat loss go faster. I've never understood how that worked because in my estimation, if you're drinking ketones and you're increasing your beta hydroxybutyrate levels, which is that blood ketone, if you're increasing them exogenously through BHB salts, why would your body make more ketones? Why would your body want to produce something that it already has an abundance of? We seem to forget that the body is very good at maintaining homeostasis of the things that we need in our body. When, when we're not feeding it enough of a certain micronutrient, it usually makes up for it, sometimes in good ways, sometimes in bad ways. And with BHB, with, with ketones, if you're drinking them, and there are people that drink them throughout the day, so if you're sitting there sipping on exogenous ketones all day long, and you're not letting your body produce them, does your body really want to produce them at that point? They're like, bruh, we're good. We don't need any more because we have plenty of them from this exogenous source. So endogenous production can be a little bit turned down whenever you start consuming exogenous. So now they've done a study to take a look at comparing endogenous formation of ketones with endogenous uh, formation of ketones along with adding BHB salts. So that's what this study is about. If you just joined us, I'm reading from a brand new research paper, March 24th, 2021. This came out in the journal Frontiers in Nutrition. The effects of a six week controlled hypocaloric ketogenic diet with and without exogenous ketone salts on body composition responses. <clears throat> Background. Ketogenic diets that elevate beta-hydroxybutyrate, known as BHB, promote fat and weight loss. Exogenous ketones, such as ketone salts, also will elevate your BHB concentrations with the potential to protect against muscle loss during calorie restriction. Whether augmenting the ketosis with this ketone supplement impacts body composition uh, response to a well-formulated ketogenic diet, that's still unknown. So up until this study, they didn't know if adding in exogenous ketones to a ketogenic diet that's hypocaloric, they didn't know if there would be any additional fat loss that would come from that. So this is the first study that does that. The purpose of this study is to explore the effects of energy matched hypocaloric ketogenic diet feeding. They, de they define that in this study as below 50 grams of carbohydrate a day and 1.5 grams per kilogram per day of protein intake. They did it both with and without the inclusion of the exogenous ketone, and what they were measuring as the primary outcomes is weight loss and body composition response. So the methods that they used, they had overweight and obese adults, <clears throat> and they were provided with a precisely defined hypocaloric ketogenic diet, so they kept them at about 75% of their energy expenditure for six weeks. So 75%, in other words, they put them at a 25% calorie deficit because they definitely wanted to induce ketosis. If you take the keto profile and you make it below the calories for them according to their BMI, they should induce ketosis. That's why they did that. They did it over a period of six weeks 
in a double blind manner, in other words, both the patient and the researcher had no idea which modality they were doing, subjects were randomly assigned to receive 24 grams a day of a BHB salt. So there was 12 of them that were put on the ketogenic diet along with the exogenous ketone. Or they were given a placebo. So all of them got the ketogenic diet, which was hypocaloric by 25%, but then all of them also received something. So they didn't know if they were getting the real BHB salt or if they were getting the ketogenic diet with the placebo, which was 13 people. So 25 total people in the study, 12 of them had the ketogenic diet with the exogenous ketone, 13 of them had the ketogenic diet with a placebo. A matched comparison group, another 12 people, was separately assigned, listen to this one, I love that they added this as a third wing in this study. They were separately assigned to an isoenergetic, in other words, the same number of calories, isonitrogenous low fat diet. So they were put on basically the standard American healthy diet. Body composition parameters were assessed by using a DEXA scan and a magnetic resonance imaging. So they wanted to see, they wanted to quantify what exactly happens when people consume a ketogenic diet with uh, exogenous ketones, without exogenous ketones and just the ketogenic diet and then a low fat diet. They wanted to take a look what happens amongst the three groups. So what were the results? The ketogenic diet induced nutritional ketosis at uh, just under 1.0 millimoles. That's pretty good. All throughout the study, with higher fasting concentrations observed in the ketogenic diet plus exogenous ketones than the ketogenic diet plus the placebo for the first two weeks. And that makes sense. If they weren't already well keto adapted, and you give people that aren't well keto adapted a ketogenic diet plus an exogenous ketone, you're gonna show ketones right away. And in the other group, ketogenic diet plus the placebo, it can take upwards of two to four weeks to get fully keto adapted. So you're not gonna see levels of ketones quite yet within that first two weeks period. Remember, it's a six week study. There were decreases in body mass, whole body fat and lean mass, mid-thigh muscle cross-sectional area. Remember the DEXA scan is looking all over the body for areas of the body that uh, fat loss is happening. And both visceral and subcutaneous adipose tissues. But no, listen to this, no group differences were found between the two ketogenic diet groups. In other words, ketogenic diet plus exogenous ketones was no better than ketogenic diet with uh, alone with a placebo it didn't do any better which begs the question all of these people that are knocking on your dm saying hey you should drink your ketones it'll help you with fat loss <coughs> no it won't no it won't we have science that's now showing it that it's not going to provide any additional benefit which again should beg the question, why are you drinking ketones if the purpose of it is to give you that boost in your fat loss, which is the way they have promoted it, and then it doesn't do that, now why are you using it? Except for expensive <sighs> supplementation to your ketogenic diet that you don't really need. As for the low fat diet, it also performed just as well in fat loss as the key chain diet. Um, nitrogen excretion was significantly higher in the ketogenic diet plus placebo than the low fat diet. It trended higher compared to the one with the exogenous ketone, da 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 da. So their conclusion in this study, energy matched hypocaloric ketogenic diets favorably affected the body composition but were not further impacted by administration of an exogenous BHB salt supplement that helped to augment ketosis. The trend for less nitrogen loss with the BHB salt, if manifested over a long period of time, may contribute to preserved lean mass. So the only benefit they're manifesting 
out of the ketogenic diet, hypochloric ketogenic diet with the BHB salt is it may help to preserve some lean mass. But we know ketosis does the same thing. You don't need an exogenous ketone to produce that preservation of lean muscle mass. We have plenty of research that has shown ketosis in and of itself is muscle sparing. And so you're not gonna lose lean mass.